Hello guys! Welcome back to Colder's Pizza's channel. This is Stuffed Crust. And welcome to my first official video. And something I want to talk about today is growing up as a Jehovah's Witness, both in the English and the Spanish congregation. Because believe it or not, there is a difference. And it's probably cultural, but there is a difference. I was planning to make this a two-part video. This one's going to focus more on the English congregation. I personally grew up in the Spanish congregation, but I chose as an adult to be a part of the English congregation. And if you grew up as a witness, you're probably very familiar with this phrase, which is the language of your heart. And English was, quote unquote, the language of my heart. What I really wanted to focus on today was the pros and cons of being in the English congregation. There's probably too numerous to say, but I'm just going to focus on a few points today. Personally, I feel like this can be both a pro and con, and that's the older ones in the congregation. The first congregation I went to in the English had a lot of older ones, but it was in the country, in the boonies. And they were very nice. They took me under their wings. They were sweet. And they told me really great stories. Just beautiful, beautiful people. I do not regret getting to know these older ones before they all passed. But the second English congregation I went to, the older ones were strict. They weren't kind at all. A few, I would say, were sweet, but majority of them were pretty sour. <laughs> One time I went to a get-together and the elder was drinking some alcohol and I told one of the older sisters that he looked a bit tipsy. I was just joking, uh, but she took it seriously. Next thing I knew I was in the back room talking to some elders and they were trying to see if my faith was affected by this. Literally everything was just thrown way out of proportion. And it was not the first nor the last time that anyone misinterpreted anything I said and went to the elders, especially the older ones. Let's go back to the pros. Another thing is, everything in the English congregation was on time. Meetings started on time, meetings ended on time. You never really had a moment where you'd go, oh, dang it, Brother Johnson went over five minutes again. Here we go, we're gonna be late tonight. That was never an issue. Not to mention, they were very organized. Nothing was ever done without plans. If there was a situation, the brothers already had it handled. When COVID hit, our meetings were on point. Zoom never messed up and no one would mess up. Even the circuit overseer was very impressed with the organizational skills the brothers displayed in Zoom. Another pro would be no one was in your business. At least from the two English congregations I've been to versus the Spanish ones I've been to. But let's go ahead and start talking about those cons. I would have to say just how boring it was. Like I mentioned earlier, we had a lot of older ones, which meant a lot less get-togethers. And the few that you attended had to end at a certain time. The music couldn't be so loud. They had to pre-approve the music you listened to. If you were DJing for that party, you were like, uh, stressed out. Someone, somehow, was going to find issue with the music you played. A sister literally complained to the elders about how one of the fellow elders' wedding was too loud. And I'll tell you what, that wedding was probably one of the funnest weddings I've ever been to in my life. But... She found a problem with it, and the elders did have to talk to him. Another con would be how paper cut everyone is. It's just like rinse and repeat. The more spiritual the person, the boringer they got. From the older ones, to the middle-aged ones, to the adult ones, to the young ones, they were all very boring people. They literally were like plain white bread. No discernible personalities, no hobbies, they don't watch anything, they don't listen to anything. And if you even asked them and they thought it was inappropriate, good luck. 
because you're gonna find yourself in that little room in the back with the brothers. Or you get deemed bad association. By the way guys, Stuff crosses bad association. She watched Maleficent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just so silly. But it could be that what I'm saying encompasses all of Jehovah's Witnesses. It's just subtle differences I've seen from the English and Spanish. But trust me, the English is chef's kiss so much better than the Spanish. While the English is boring, the Spanish is toxic. But that doesn't mean I haven't met some toxic people in the English congregation, because I have, and I have a lot of stories to tell. But let's leave that for another video. For now, thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget, my videos drop on Saturdays. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe to Colder Pixel's channel. You guys have a wonderful day. Love you guys.